Raila, who visited the ailing Limuru politician Ginyo Kariuki at his home, said the motive behind the Building Bridges initiative was to unite the entire Kenya and end the bitter political differences that had engulfed the country. He said the development of this nation was at stake after the divisive 2017 general election and that is why he agreed to work with President Uhuru Kenyatta to bring together the different political sheds for the sake of nation's development. The opposition chief described Nguyen as part of the country's struggle for democracy, noting that tens of political meetings were held at his Limuru home, urging Kenyans to learn to appreciate those who defined its history when they were still on earth. Dating back to the days of original Ford, right through. And this home has hosted very many historic meetings in search for opposition unity in those days to try to bring the people of Kenya together. Meanwhile, Kotu Secretary General Francis Atoli says Kenya should now opt for a coalition government going forward. Let us amend our constitution. And let us address governance areas. How do we am a Kenyan? And let us recognize that we have major communities in this country. And even I say it, people thought that uh, 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 I was not a normal person when I suggested. A Tolly who made his presentation before the Building Bridges Initiative said all political players should be accommodated in government to end the constant political struggles witnessed at every election cycle.